The Communist Manifesto, written by Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels in 1848, envisioned a society where class differences disappear and workers own the means of production. However, its implementation in various countries has often led to outcomes that diverge significantly from its ideals. Here are seven ways in which the Communist Manifesto has not succeeded in reality. 1. Economic Inefficiency Marx predicted that communism would lead to a thriving, efficient economy run by workers. In practice, many communist states have struggled with economic inefficiency and poor resource allocation. Centralized planning often led to shortages and surpluses, failing to meet the basic needs of the population. 2. Loss of personal freedoms The manifesto advocates for a classless society, but its implementation has frequently resulted in authoritarian governments. Instead of achieving freedom for all, many communist countries have restricted personal liberties and monitored or controlled the lives of their citizens. This contradiction highlights a significant departure from Marx's vision of freedom and equality, as he didn't account for human nature's desire to control others. 3. Corruption and Power Abuse Marx and Engels hoped to abolish class-based power structures, but they completely missed the mark as new elites emerged within communist parties in almost all cases. These leaders often abused their power, leading to widespread corruption and the oppression of the very workers they purported to represent. This failure shows how these theories are distorted by human nature, which occurs repeatedly in these societies. 4. Poor Agricultural Performance Communist policies aim to redistribute land to empower peasants and increase productivity. However, forced collectivization in countries like the Soviet Union and China led to famine and a decline in agricultural output. The disconnect between theory and practice in agriculture production has been devastating for millions over centuries of trials. 5. Stifling of Innovation Marx believed that freeing workers from capitalist exploitation would spur innovation. Yet, the lack of competition and incentives in communist systems often led to technological stagnation and a failure to innovate. What Marx failed to realize is that the few in power are threatened by the ideas of others, regardless of how they might improve conditions. 6. Environmental Degradation Despite Marx's vision of a harmonious relationship between humans and nature, many communist governments prioritized industrial growth over environmental concerns. This resulted in significant environmental degradation, demonstrating a failure to balance industrialization with ecological preservation. Ironically, these leaders will often exploit climate change to gain control of others, while abusing the environment by their own personal actions. 7. Failure to Eradicate Poverty One of the core aims of the Communist Manifesto was to eliminate poverty by redistributing wealth. While some initial redistribution occurred, many communist states failed to eradicate poverty, with wealth often concentrated among elites. A powerful elite class, a trademark in every single socialist society, as they understand that impoverished people are easier to control. While the Communist Manifesto offered a revolutionary view of a socialist society, its application in real-world scenarios has often fallen short of expectations. Interestingly, it was written during the Industrial Revolution when the middle class began to thrive, and the elite class of that time resented their newfound wealth and influence. Could it be that the Communist Manifesto was written to destroy the middle class, since that is what it does in virtually every instance? Something to think about.